ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center. Welcome to sports, everybody. A special day for youngsters in the pineapple capital as our two world medalists touch down. Amajal Knowles was along for the ride. Well, it was a hero's welcome in Central Eleuther, where Beeman track and field superstar Stephen Gardner and Shawnee Miller Weebo, along with her husband Michael, won a visit to the island as the trio conducted a scheduled tour of the Eleuther Island. The athletes got in around 7 in the morning, where they met with officials from the Ministry of Youth, as well as island administrators, before having a brief breakfast at the unique village resort, before departing for the Central Eleuther High School at around 9 a.m., where they were greeted with a raucous reception, the National Heroes Assembly, where Shawnee and Stevie offered a few words of encouragement to the Sentinels at Central Luther High School for taking a brief question and answer period, for taking some pictures and videos with some of the excited students. Honestly, it was such a pleasure, especially because they are national heroes. Um, I feel that it would inspire a lot of students to go after their dreams, especially those students who want to do track and field. I feel that it was an inspiration and it was a big thing, so I'm very happy about it. We are proud today to have uh, national heroes here with us. And the children are all excited, as you see. They all want to speak to them personally. And even though it was a short notice that we had to entertain them today, we were excited and we hope we made them proud of us as they made us proud of them. Next up was the Emily G. Petty Primary School, where the youngsters also could not wait to get their photo ops with the sprinters. And this young student in particular was especially eager as he chose Shawnee as his inspiration for his recent class project. We was doing a project for National Heroes Day. So it was ran, I randomly picking the jar in some container and I found out that I got Shawnee Miller and I was so happy. The trio would then tour some more schools throughout the island, including Emma Cooper, Pia Gibson, and Gregory Tom Primary, before meeting some super fans at the island's administrative complex. And for all of the medalists, they certainly soaked up the admiration from the locals on the island, as well as the young students. And this experience is something that they certainly will never forget. Amazing feeling to come home and celebrate, um, especially here in Luther. It's my second time here. The first time was very welcoming as well. And so, yeah, to come back home and celebrate with the kids, it's, it's an amazing feeling. You know, it's a blessing to be able to share this moment with my husband as well. Well, um, you know, I've seen him work so hard this year and he's seen me work so hard. And so for both of us to, to be able to come away from the championships with medals, it's it's an amazing feeling. It's a blessing. Um, and, you know, it shows a lot of hard work that we put into the, as a family as well. And so, yeah, to be able to come home and for them to celebrate him as well, you know, they take him on as an adopted son. And so, you know, I just appreciate that so much. And, yeah, we love the Bahamas so much for that. Uh, first time here, it was it was a, it's, it's a very beautiful island. And, and it was nice to see the school kids. Uh, everybody was excited. Uh, you know, we wish we had time to uh, give everybody an autograph and, and a picture uh, you know there was swarming around us and, and it was just uh, exciting to see kids uh, excited to see us and then you know uh, um, just talk to them and, and mingle with them it was it was a uh, it was nice it was my first time here in Eleuthera so I'm glad I get to come and visit uh, the people here um, it's pretty nice I like it here already it reminds me so much of Abaco where I'm from so yeah glad to be here the love of the schools were amazing like unbelievable like first time in a long time it's been like that um, but yeah um, um, had a good advice for the students there and they took it in very well, you know, and they had some really good questions. The athletes returned to the Capitol later this evening. From the beautiful Palmetto Point, I'm Amajal Knowles, ZNS Total Sport. Buddy Heal with 14 points last night as the Sacramento Kings closed out preseason play with a 124-110 win over Melbourne United from Australia. During his post-game press conference, though, the talk was not about the game, but Buddy's expiring contract. The Kings had put forward a four-year, $90 million extension, but Buddy is seeking a new deal in the range of $110 million. If it don't get on, then after that, me and my team will look somewhere else and uh, look for not, probably another home. But and tell them we see if they really see us or have me here. That's just the goal, to be here. You know, I love Sacramento, but if they don't want me here, I don't feel that I'm the part of the core. You know, I like respect and loyalty, and uh, I feel like I'm part of the group that's been getting the team back where it needs to be. It's not always but less than the max. It's just like something that is reasonable and uh, where it's, it's not an insult. Some people will get the max, some people won't get the max. That's how it works. But my job is to go there and, and kill every night to, so I can be that max player. So and I feel like I've, especially like a low market like this, Sacramento, like, I mean, you guys been covering basketball all your life and uh, need one big free agent that came to Sacramento. I mean, uh, and I've been here three years and trying to grow the program, grow this organization, and I feel like 
and I, I can be rewarded close to that, but that's just me. That's off my gut feeling, but uh, I'm a confident guy. I love doing this, like I say, and I'm going to keep on competing. Still talking pro hoops, 31-year-old Bahamian Mark St. Ford had a big performance in round six of the Japanese third division for Saitama the Broncos, and he took home player of the week honors. St. Ford finishing with a double-double, 26 points and 11 rebounds as his team outclassed Shikosa by almost 30 points, winning 85-57. St. Ford currently leading the league, actually fourth in the league in scoring 23.3 points per game. He's also averaging 1.8 blocks while shooting 69% from the field and 43% from the three-point line. Meantime, in the Japanese first division, Kadeem Colby and his Akita Habanets on court last night on the road against Toyota Alvark. Akita getting back to 500 at 2-2, two and two, a hard-fought 65-60 win. Kadeem leading the way with 14 points and 8 boards. The Providence Softball Association, their championship round back on the diamond tonight. In ladies' play, the Sunshine Auto Wildcats looking to go up 3-0 on the inventive intellect, Lady Warriors. We take it one game at a time, you know, because that, like I said, that's skills can play, you know. We can that's ease up on them. We got to keep them going. You know, that team right there just as good as you, you know, and if you're head down, then girls can come at you, and they ain't come out here to lay down. For the rest of the series, we just got to come out, focus for the next game. It's not over yet. Uh, we got to come out and continue to do what we do, strong offensively, uh, good defense, and just continue to have fun. My job as a captain, uh, I know some, they might think it's over, but I got to just continue to prepare them each and every game, and just to come out and play hard every single game because this is a good ball club coached by a good coach so we just got to come out and continue to play hard as for the men the commander security truckers and cns enterprises hitman tied at a game apiece game two was a pitcher's duel more of the same expected tonight a ladies doubleheader on tap last night in the Providence Volleyball Association. The Panthers needing four sets to put away the Warhawks, 25-11, 23-25, 25-21, and 25-18. We could have done better. I think that we relaxed. We got relaxed after the first set because we had in our head, okay, we got this, this is easy, and then they gave us a run for our money. The University of the Bahamas Mingos on court last night as well against the veteran Vixens. The Mingos starting off strong, taking the first set 25-22 thanks to outside hitter Olivia Culmer. The Mingos right in the second set as well, but the Vixens ran off the last eight points to take it 25-21. In the third set, the Mingos lost focus and they would never recover, losing the next two sets 25-19 and 25-15, handing the Vixens the match three sets to one. We had control of the second set. Um, we should have won that because um, that was a weaker lineup that Vixens um, put in there. Uh, it was weaker than the first lineup that they had. But um, we got too relaxed. We allowed them to serve too many balls. And then we, we, we caught ourselves. We found, we found ourselves in a, in, a dog, in a dog match. Um, we just need to focus more on when we get a team down. Um, to be able to put them away the clothes. Uh, the girls, um, they've come a long way. And uh, they're, playing, they're playing more systematic volleyball now. They just need to have a heart, whereas they know that they can beat a team and put a team away. Yesterday was opening day for the seniors in the government secondary school's volleyball season. The C.I. Gibson Rattlers and C.C. Sweeting Cobras meeting at the Donald Davis Gym. In girls play, the Rattlers taking care of the Cobras 19-14 and 21-19. As we come here today, we start, we play our first set where we supposed to play at North as fall back and play the game. Then the second set, we starting as fall back and play the game. Then we had a, get a time on catch ourselves, then plus come back and play our game. We is practicing at our gym. We practice every day, except for Saturday and Sunday. We put our heart in it, we play our best ability. And as we practice, we'll be learning to practice, we come on doing the game. It was a good day all around for C.I. Gibson, the Rattlers' senior boys, also taking the Cobras out in straight sets, 19-15 and 19-11. We go with Coach Plan, set us to play a team game. Remember, it's not us that's playing alone. We got to play as a team and just go there and do what we do. As long as we follow Coach Plan, practice every day, practice hard, go to practice, correct all our mistakes, we be good for the rest of the season. Less than a month ago, now until the Aquacross World Championships invading our shores. That's November 8th through the 10th. And for those of you not that familiar, Aquacross is different from the regular jet ski community. What we found in the past with us is that 
the jet ski community sometimes gets a bad name for themselves, but what we do is that we provide a training process within Aquacross where actually they're all pretty regimented. Um, so when you join Aquacross, what you have to do is, yes, you sign up, but you have to have a certain level of safety equipment and you have to go through a training procedure. So what that is, is you come in and basically you spend about two hours in a classroom and we teach you what the process is. You know, they all have to be wearing their vest, they have to wear a certain type of wetsuit. So there's quite a lot in terms of getting involved and we try and make it as easy, as simple as possible. Sports tourism continuing to grow in the Bahamas and it's one of the vehicles for people who like to travel. Just let's talk about Miami Dolphins and the love the Bahamians have for the Miami Dolphins. And they will literally travel to Miami for a home game. But that goes further and further and further than that. Much deeper, whether it's your favorite basketball team, um, whether it's athletics, no matter what it is, they travel. And people always combine a sports trip with a little vacation. Bahamas is perfect. We have so much going for us to make sure that this um, is a success. Ministry of Tourism as well worked hard, you know, golf, we brought golf to the family islands, um, Exuma, Abaco, those golf tournaments were successful, we partnered with Albany, with the Heroes um, Golf Championships, with Tiger Woods, and we have worked with um, Atlantis, with Battle for Atlantis, the gymnastics, these are initiatives that we've worked on, and it goes way beyond that. There is always more that we can do. In terms of the international sporting events that come to the Bahamas, money is key as the events are not cheap to host you always have to look at your budget and this always becomes a factor in deciding should we or shouldn't we is that the best way to spend half a million dollars you know because it's sponsorship money it's um, all the TV rights that is the benefit of having it and so there's so much more we could do but I think we've got to get to the stage where we work with the private sector to partner with us so that they can get the benefit of the marketing as well to a larger audience and maybe that's the way that we can further there are reach in sports tourism. That's a look at sports. The Bahamas and I comes back after the break. ZNS Total Sports is brought to you by Fourth Terrace Diagnostic Center.